Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I'm back here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida, about to do another Glock comparison. Now you guys requested it, so here it is. We got my personal favorite over here. Glock 17 chambered in 9mm, 4.5 inch barrel. And we also have... Where did my Glock 22 go? Glock 22, also generation 5, four and a half inch barrel, cha cha barrel chamber in 40 Smith & Wesson. So, we got, let me make sure that there's nothing nowhere. We got two absolutely identical Glocks, size wise, barrel wise, slide wise, frame wise, everything wise, the trigger is the same, everything is exactly the same except one is 40 Smith & Wesson and another one is 9mm. So we're gonna do some shooting and hopefully by the end of this comparison it will help you to make your choice. Should you buy a 40 Smith & Wesson or should you buy a 9mm? Which one hand handles the recoil better? Which one feels better overall? Let's start with the Glock 17. All right, so Black 17 generation 5. We have a 17 capacity magazine compared to a regular 15 capacity magazine on the Glock 22. However, here I have a 10 capacity magazine because this is a California, yeah, California compliant Glock. Uh, but normally you do have a 15 capacity magazine on the Glock 22 compared to 17 capacity on the Glock 17. So you get two more rounds. Two more rounds, a little bit less power, because we have our 9mm round, and I'll show you both, versus 40 Smith & Wesson. So I have, uh, don't pay attention, it's synthetic, cheaper, and uh, we have our 40 Smith & Wesson. So 40 obviously going to be uh, a little bit more punchier, all right, uh, but at the same time, gonna have more recoil you should have we'll see we will see how it handles the recoil at Glock 22 compared to Glock 17 and I'm gonna put five rounds into the Glock 17 magazine all right and I'm gonna put five rounds into my Glock 22 so we can shoot them really back to back and we can tell the difference between the two now the uh, magazines are they feel exactly the same they're both very easy to load they're nicely numbered i do like them a lot uh, honestly out of all the magazines out there glock magazine is probably my one of my top favorite ones all right so i have five rounds in both of the glocks put my ear protection on and uh, we'll do some shooting let's see we'll try to hit that orange top orange right there Alrighty, so let's see. Now, this is a uh, Glock 17 Generation 5. Alright, and now uh, Glock 22. Alright, so let me tell you guys. Definitely, definitely punchier Glock 22. You definitely feel more recoil. I feel like the spring and everything else is the same in both. And uh, as you can see here, there is really no difference. It doesn't look like there is any difference whenever it comes to the spring. And uh, I kind of had that feeling because of how easy it is to rack. This is Glock 17 and racking Glock 22 feels exactly, exactly the same as racking the Glock 17. So definitely more punch on the 40 Smith & Wesson. Uh, you have two less rounds compared to the Glock 17, but you have a little bit more powerful round compared to the 9mm. So at the end of the day, it is your choice. Do you want to sacrifice those two rounds? Do you want something with a little bit more recoil? But something that is more powerful compared to the Glock 17. 
This is your choice. All right, so let's do a little bit of reviewing overall. We have our, uh, obviously in generation five, we have our very, very aggressive grip. I do like it a lot. Same exact thing on both. And with a brand new purchase of a Glock, you do get some grip jackets that you can put on to make uh, the grip a little bit fatter if you have bigger hands. Now my hands are small, so fits um, my hands. This, this grip right here fits perfect. I do like it a lot. Um, you do have some serrations at the front of the trigger guard in case if you do like this kind of grip. Now magazine mag release is uh, not ambidextrous, but it is reversible in case if you want to do that on both of the blocks. Same thing goes for the slide release. It's exactly the same on both of the blocks. And this one is actually ambidextrous. So both Glock 22 and Glock 17, they are uh, lefty friendly. All right, if you're lefty, that's it, that's perfect. Now, both of the Glocks do have serrations on, on the front and on the back of the slide. And uh, both of the Glocks have exactly, exactly the same trigger, and let me demonstrate it. Uh, it has a 26N pull. Uh, it's a safe action trigger. It has this little pre-trigger with about three and a half millimeters, maybe, maybe three millimeters. And then a crisp break. Now, this is Glock 22. And the same thing we got in Glock 17, same thing, pre-trigger, about three millimeters of travel, crisp break. Excellent trigger, I love it, absolutely love it. Now, we do have exactly the same size on both standard Glock sides. Uh, nothing crazy over here, kind of like a three dot, only the back is this little bar, which is typical to a Glock. Takes a little bit of time to adjust to those sides, but not a big deal, two, three days on the range, and you should be good. So, let's put some uh, five more rounds through both and uh, we'll try to come up with uh, more or less reasonable, more or less reasonable conclusion. So, five rounds here. Um, load them up. Shooting some synthetics, 9mm synthetics, because if you're watching two years, whatever, from the upload date, if we're still all alive and nothing bad happened, <laughs> <laughs> then you probably uh, should know that the ammo, as of today, May 2021, is ridiculously freaking expensive, all right? Just saying, so that you don't question why only five rounds, why not 20, 30 rounds. All right, so we got one magazine full of, not full of, five rounds of uh, 40 Smith & Wesson. We got another magazine, uh, nine millimeter. This time I'll start with the 40 Smith & Wesson. Let's do some shooting. And then we'll try to come up with a conclusion. I'll do the yellow in the middle. tell you guys even though I say that there is a little bit more punch with the recoil 40 Smith & Wesson it's pretty insignificant all right so if you really do need want crave desire all right more powerful round than a 9 millimeter go go for it go for a Glock 22 it's, it's completely fine the only real thing the only real difference is that you're sacrificing two rounds which, I mean, it's a pretty solvable problem because you can always get an extended magazine for your Glock. So it's really not a big deal. You really are not sacrificing a lot. That recoil, that extra recoil that you're feeling is pretty insignificant. Overall, I love both of these. Honestly, at the times like these, like right now, it's pretty hard to find the Glock in your local store. Uh, both Glock 17 and Glock 22, they're pretty hard to find. So if you, if you are, you know, if you find the Glock 17, get it. If you can find the Glock 22, then if you need it, if you, want, if you need a handgun, get it. They're both phenomenal. Both 9mm and 40 Smith & Wesson are excellent, excellent rounds, all right? Uh, but if your store is awesome enough to have both of these in stock, then really it's just your personal choices, whether you want to stick with a 9mm or you want the 40 Smith & Wesson. And at the end of the day, that's really compare comparison between the two rounds, all right, and not the two pistols right here. 
So let me know in the comments below guys what do you think about my conclusion? What do you think about these two pistols? Which one would you personally choose? Would you choose the Black 17? Would you choose the Black 22? Thank you very much guys for watching. This was Fire of America. I'll see you guys in the next video.